When we talk with growers about Y drop, understanding the yield response that they're going to provide to the crop and the return on investment that the grower can expect is one of the principal factors of the conversation. To me, it all starts especially with nitrogen. You know, nitrogen is our number one macronutrient of corn, and that's what really drives our yield gains and losses, especially as we look later in the season. You can see in an example where corn that was in the same neighborhood, subject to the same environment, we have major differences when it comes to the nitrogen management programs, and it shows up obviously here at the end of the year. You know, in this picture alone, we're looking at probably a 50 bushel difference. Take that times your corn price and you're in the hundreds of dollars of revenue per acre difference between good nitrogen management and uh, on the other case, poor nitrogen management. So putting a yield response to that can sometimes be difficult because it's a tailored situation. Every grower's nitrogen program is generally different than his neighbor. The timing, where he puts it down, what what products he's using so you it kind of becomes a back and forth natural conversation between the dealer and the grower for what yield results they believe are attainable we do a lot of yield checks at 360 and over a multiple year average we usually land somewhere in the teens as far as the yield gain for running y drop and that's not always supplemental nitrogen, too. Some people view Y drops late season just as a rescue tool. When you've had adverse weather or your soils are running out or your tissue tests are saying you have a problem, the growers who use Y drop at the highest profitability are growers who plan on that Y drop pass and then they adjust. They adjust their rate and their timing by having late season application equipment and the ability to change their rate based on what the crop's potential is. We've always called that base plus, and it's hard to bet against a base plus program, comparing it to an all up front. One of the key features of Y drop is the banding of the nutrients. And that's something that's universal. We've seen a huge shift, you know, in the United States towards strip tilling with banding nutrients in the fall or in the spring. And Y drop gives us the ability to do that anytime in the growing crop. So in this example, we've looked at an 80 unit application of 32%. That equals 23 gallon per acre application. So you have a choice as a grower. You could spread that out all over every square foot of your field evenly, or you could band it in two strips as shown in the photograph. That gives you an enormous efficiency gain when you're placing your fertilizer next to the roots where it'll be taken up. In addition to yield gain with Y drop, one of the other big things we look at that speaks to the power of banding is rate reduction. So if you could reduce your rate by 5, 10, 25, even 30 percent or more, the more expensive the nitrogen cost is, the more money that's going to put back in your pocket. So in this chart as an example, this is not an uncommon price for in-season liquid UAN 28 or 32 percent nitrogen to be paying in excess of a dollar to a dollar 15 per equivalent pound when you're going to apply it in season. If you see the power of banding of what a Y drop can do, if you could reduce your rate by say 20 percent, that saves you 23 cents on every pound of nitrogen that you apply on the farm by taking advantage of the efficiency of close placement. So the placement advantage of Y drop is really clear. Most of our plots would say you need to be in the 30% rate reduction and we would not expect a, a yield loss by going from broadcast to banding at the same time and product. And if it was me, I would run some strips on my farm at a 50% rate reduction. Now we've just slashed your nitrogen in half and hopefully not take a step backwards in yield. This is a great summary plot that shows how we put the base plus program into action. Originally, the grower was all pre-plant nitrogen. In this case, it was anhydrous ammonia in South Central Illinois. He moved part of his farm to a base plus program where he still applied some uh, pre-plant anhydrous ammonia, but the remainder he held back and uh, put on with a Y drop. And because the year was conducive, he was able to lower his rate. So his per acre revenue was really high based on not only using substantially less fertilizer, also seeing a yield gain using the Base Plus program. When we want to summarize what we've seen with Y-Drop, 
The yield penalty is enormous for running the gas tank to empty at the end of the season, and that's evident when we do our final yield checks and we compare. It's hard to compare what you do to what your neighbor does on the other side of the road because your products are probably different, your timing and your placement are likely different, but if you have a way to leave check strips or try and give yourself a report card by talking to agronomists in the neighborhood, you'll see that nitrogen becomes one of the biggest drivers of farm profitability because corn is the biggest nitrogen user. To customize the value picture for Y-Drop for your farm, we have a great ROI calculator available where you can put in what you believe the yield goal or the rate reduction of nitrogen could be in your situation times your corn price and the acres that you farm and we'll pre-populate a rough cost of a Y-Drop system and that's a great way to start a conversation with your farm team and think about how is the profitability of Y-Drop going to drive our growth and our future in our farm.